So today we are going to go back in history, back to whenever Fujifilm brought this lens out. I think it was like 2012, 2013, the 18mm f2 lens. I think, in my opinion, this is probably one of my favourite Fuji lenses and it's been cast aside by so many people. You can find so many reviews of you know, how this lens is not very good, how it's not very sharp, all kinds of negativity. It's almost like one of those forgotten lenses which I just think we need to find again. So 18 millimeter lens, f2, and I wanna start by saying the f2 is super duper bright. You know, often you think about the f2 lenses and you kind of, for me, I, I equate that to contrasty lenses, not really, really bright lenses, not really fast lenses, kind of okay, but beautiful in terms of atmosphere. Well, this one has got everything. It's got the atmosphere in it, it's got that something that, you can't quantify, but you just know it looks great. So when I've been out taking pictures with this over the weekend, it's like, oh my goodness, where has this lens been in my life? Why didn't I buy it before? So the F2 is super, super bright, shot indoors with it, late at night, shot outside in it, just really great. It's fast, um, is sharp, if you really want sharp lenses. It's not over sharp like the 90 millimeter, which, you know, you might find a bit too much. It's just right. I kind of like it when a lens is sharp enough to, you know, see what you've, you've shot, but not too sharp to feel like it's, you know, ridiculous. It's just got that beautiful sweet spot. It's like, yeah, it is, it's a sweet spot. Um, it's pancake lens. So let's have a look at it with the 27 mil. Just take that off this camera. So here you can see the difference here. There you go. So if I take off the lens cap on both of these, and if I take off the bottom bit, you can get a good sense then of the size. So it's only just, it's, you know, obviously it's thicker than the 27 mil, but it's still, you know, very, very small. Um, so yeah, if you like pancake lenses, again, this is a very portable lens. So if you're traveling, if you're going you know, out with the kids or whatever, you want a, a walk around lens, it's just gonna do it for you. In fact, to be honest, I'll be using this lens professionally because it's sharp enough. It's got that magic something which just looks great. Um, it's got, if you like aperture rings, you've got an aperture ring on here so you can just um, change your aperture by turning this rather than the dial, you know, doesn't really matter which, but. If you like that, that's great. Obviously, it's super cheap at the moment because it's such an old lens and I picked this up for a couple of hundred pounds um, on MPB. And so, again, it's, you know, for two, two, 250, it's just so cheap. Um, yeah, I can't find anything bad to say about this lens. You know, it's got a close focusing distance because of the way the, with the 18 mil. Um, so I think you can focus up to about 18 centimeters, which is really, really close. So you can get nice and close to your portraits. You know, it's great for portraits, great for landscape photography. You can use it for interior photography, use it just for candid moments, for documentary photography. Um, it's really, because it's so small, you know, you're not gonna, no one's gonna kind of think, oh my goodness, look at that person coming at me with that big lens. Um, and it's just got that magic something, you know, I can find nothing to hate about this lens. I absolutely love it. It's my current favorite lens in my in my kit bag and will be coming everywhere with me. So I don't understand all those people that, you know, are not very positive about this lens because I can't find anything wrong with it. In fact, I, I'll be using this over the 27 mil. Just even though this one's thinner, I just, this is slightly wider, the 27 mil, um, is equal to like 40, 41, whatever it is. 
the 18 mil is equal to 27 mil. So in my head, it's kind of like the 24 mil on the old Canon days. Um, yeah, and I just love it. So if you're looking for a lens that's a bit wider than the, this kind of like natural field of view, and you're looking for something that's fast, that's beautiful, that's got that magic something, then I would recommend going out and buying this 18 millimeter F2 Fuji lens. Um, I can find nothing to say that's bad about this wonderful lens. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, do let me know what you, what you think in your comments and uh, I'll see you in my next film. Thanks.